cooling fan for Anything yourself. Anything that you can get in to be in the shade as well. It is going to be hot out there. Just be sure to stay as careful as possible. Wear light, loose clothing. We're going to be seeing very intense temperatures today, up to about 107 degrees. So it is going to be hot in those interior valleys. There's a few other areas where it's really not going to be that hot, though. So we are going to be seeing those drastic changes in our microclimates once again today. And that's all thanks to even more of that marine layer. We do have that big high pressure system that's really keeping that marine layer into about a thousand feet just along the Santa Barbara coastline. So that's going to keep them significantly cooler for today. But other than that, we're just going to continue to be seeing those extremely warm conditions in the interior valleys, cooler as we head towards those beaches. But even in the coastal valleys like San Luis Obispo and Santa Maria, we could get up into those mid to upper 90s today. So it's going to be a hot one through on most of the central coast. Right now, not too bad, significantly warmer than we saw just yesterday, but still relatively cool. 58 degrees in Santa Maria, 63 in California Valley, 62 degrees in Santa Barbara. But right now, mild. It's going to start warming up really quickly over the next couple of hours just as the sun starts to come up. And that's all because we've got that same big blocking high pressure system. It's sitting just off to the east of us. That's really keeping any of that marine influence well closer to the ocean than elsewhere and that we typically see. So you can't really see any of that cooling going into the interior valleys. That's going to keep them incredibly warm. Continuing to see this peak today and into tomorrow. Those are going to be our hottest temperatures cooling down pretty drastically as we head into the early portion of next week. Sunday into Monday, our temperatures are going to cool back down. Interior valleys getting into the 90s, but then we're going to shift that pattern all again. We're going to see that same big high pressure system building right back in on Tuesday. We're expecting to see another stretch of triple digit temperatures by the end of next week. So it's going to be hot. We've got a little bit of break, but even more warm temperatures are coming up. Checking out those temperatures for today, 106 degrees in Paso Robles. That's where you're going to want to really keep a close eye on those temperatures and make sure to stay cool as much as possible. 95 in San Luis Obispo, 89 degrees in Santa Maria, 81 in Lompoc and 81 degrees also in Santa Barbara. That marine layer really helping keep our south coast a little bit cooler. Along our north coast, about 75 degrees in Cambria and Cayucas, 103 in Atascadero, 106 in San Miguel in the five cities region. More comfortable as you head towards the coast, but still comfortable throughout the entirety of the five cities region. 82 degrees in Guadalupe, 77 in Pismo Beach, 102 degrees in Shandon, and 99 degrees in California Valley. Heading down towards our south coast, slightly cooler, thankfully cooler there. 77 in Goleta, 95 degrees in Solvang, 97 degrees in Koyama. We do still have those excessive heat warnings in effect for parts of the, uh, parts of the interior valleys. The hottest temperatures are going to be in this magenta and then a slightly cooler in this orange, but still dangerous hot in both of those areas. Just be sure to drink more water, dress for the heat and limit time in the sun. Remember that heat in cars can be deadly in just minutes in this heat. So we're staying relatively mild, still warm across most of the central coast and our coastal valleys and into those interiors. That's where we're going to be seeing those hot temperatures 106 today and tomorrow, then seeing those exact same really warm temperatures Wednesday into Thursday of next week as well. Neil, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vic.